What's going on today, guys? Um, today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, it's not going to be working on my uh, Civic. I'm actually working on my wife's car. It's a 2018 CRV, and um, I'm going to be installing the fog light on there. So I looked around the internet, there wasn't really much on this particular car so might as well put one up so for somebody to learn in the future maybe i'm learning myself i don't even know what to do but i know the basic because i did it on i did it on my civic so i know the concept of doing or whatever the installing the fog light so i did all the wiring and stuff myself so it shouldn't be that much different but uh I already changed the oil on this car, so I might as well, might as well, while I'm already down and dirty, do the uh, fog light for her. So it's been sitting for about a month. We got it like a month ago, but I never had the energy to do it. So today, might as well get it done, and hopefully it'll help somebody else in the future. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Posting videos so somebody can learn. So, I'm learning myself, so let's get it going. Oh, look at this NOS. NOS tank. All right, guys, so first, um, I went and did, I removed the top cover. Top cover that goes right here above the grill. I read online, somebody said you didn't have to take it off, but I think you do. I'm not sure. But better safe than sorry. And so you're gonna remove that. And you come on the side right here. There's on the side right here, there's there's a screw here, there's a Phillips head, there's a clip here, and there's another clip right here. Um, just remove this three and you should be able to pry it open. And um, I already did it on this side. <laughs> See that? So after you remove those, you can just pry this open right here on the side. Pry it open, and then there's gonna be two Phillips here. And you could remove one; it could, it'll release the bumper right here. And it's just been held on by uh, look at this, all clips on it, so. And then of course, you have to go to the bottom, a whole bunch of clips that you gotta remove. Let me show you guys right now. If you see here, all these clips is holding the bumper on. So, there's quite a few of them, so you gotta go all the way down. Remove all these clips right here, all the way down there. So, yeah. Alright, guys, I removed all the clips on the bottom. There's clips on the side, clip on top, and on the side over there. So, you should be able to pull it out. Um, let me see. Give me a second. All right, so yeah, just uh, when you pull it, pull it towards you, towards the front, so you don't damage any of uh, these clip, like I did right here, one of them. So you just wanna pull it out like this, you know, very slowly, work your way around. No, this side. Let me try to get it. Ah, fuck. All right, guys. So let's recap. That cover on top, right here, that goes here. You didn't have to take it out. So good thing. You know, I took it apart just in case you didn't have to, but at least you learn. But um, 
I went in ahead and took off the bumper as you can see so basically all that that I showed you to take off besides the cover you do have to take it off and all those clips on the bottom and right after you take it off all you have to do is pry the bumper from each side first I would do that each side pry it pry it and then the middle when you get to the middle right here it's going to be this and that um, what I did was put my hand right under here and I, I yanked I pulled it not aggressively but you know just enough and this side and also the middle right here right under here and it should just come up so now sorry I'm breathing heavily man I'm getting tired but now let's get the fog light installed to this thing all right guys so here's the fog light I ordered uh, ordered off of Amazon I don't know what brand it is or whatever but it's pretty clean but it comes with everything you see here and this is the light is clean. Fuck, like you want clear. Oh, and I also ordered the replacement bulb that's LED that's gonna replace the bulb in here. And it's amber, so my wife likes amber. We're gonna keep it amber. I got amber on my car, so we're gonna keep it that way. But yeah, come with your switch that you can add on to the, the one in the car. Here's the other lamp. Face whole wiring thing the brace that goes around the lamp yeah. and here are your wiring instruction pretty simple I guess I think oh well we're gonna do this all right guys so here's what I got so far I kind of mocked up the wire of where I wanted it to be. So, of course, the left side, the right side, and I fed it, fed the wire through here. You can see, it goes up here, through here, behind. Okay. Y'all can see that We're behind the headlight, and now uh, it's right here. So, hold on, focus. So, it's back here. So, it goes this way up behind, um, make it easier for the battery. Here's your fuse, here's your okay. Here's your fuse, here's your positive, this is gonna power it, your uh, ground. So what I did was, I removed the side piece, fed it through here, through here, through this fender. As you can see here, the wire, and there's a grommet grommet right here and comes back here so easier so here's the LED bulb that I'm gonna be replacing the OEM one with and basically now you can see here I got that off it's just clip on so they made it easier for this car instead of mine I had to cut mine out. This one is just clipped, so now we just gotta mount this in to that, the bumper. But this has to be mounted onto the bracket first. This is the bracket. So we gotta mount this on first and then mount it on the bumper. So. Alright, guys, so this is how it looks so far. 
it in that side. Oh, shit. And that side. So, still trying to figure out. the power for that. So I got the switch in right there. I'm trying to figure out how am I gonna tap that in. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up everything and zip tie everything down here so it could be flush. Oh and I went in the head and and basically mounted the positive to the positive the ground to the negative so and tucked everything away it's pretty clean to me and I'm gonna do the reverse of removing everything so basically just you know backtrack and put everything back on so. yeah. alright so guys um, got the bumper on as you can see they go the fogs looks pretty clean Check out right here. Boom. So I am gonna head to AutoZone. Um, you need a fuse for the power wire that I showed you earlier that goes into the um, the fuse box on the inside. You're gonna need a fuse tap. So in order for the fog to turn on, because the power to the fog light, you need to uh, tap the fuse into the fuse box under the the steering column so I will continue this video once I get back so stay tuned so, alright guys so it is actually a new day like maybe two days later but I managed to get it to work oh, check this out yo That looks hella mean, bro. Look at the front. But, uh, let me show you guys where to end up uh, tapping the fuse in. After pulling fuse out and testing it out myself, I managed to get it to work. So, I'm going to show you guys where I tapped in it. So, if you look here, oops, sorry. this is where I tapped it in there. I bought that uh, fuse tap from AutoZone. It was like seven dollars, but there's two fees on there just in case. But um, it's the bottom row, the bottom row of the fuse right there, and it's the fourth one. I believe is a it's a ten volt, um, a ten amp or a ten volt uh, fuse. I just removed it and uh, tapped this in and turn on the key, and it comes on. The good thing is that it only comes on if you turn the key, so. It won't stay on forever and just run, so it won't drain your battery. So that's the good part. And yeah, guys, that's it. And it took me two days, but I didn't really tinker with it because my wife had to work too. But anyways, hope y'all find this video useful because I didn't find shit about this damn car and putting on the fuse or the fog light online. They have the older models, but not the this year. The 2017 and 2018 so hope y'all find this useful thank you for watching